For three decades, Oliver the chimpanzee has baffled science. Is he a mutant chimp? Is he partly human? For his owner Wally Sweat, it was time to put an end to the speculation. I would like, while Oliver is still alive, to find someone who would be willing to really look into the differences. He's a very unique creature and he won't be with us forever. To answer the question, a sample of Oliver's blood was taken. DNA experts were asked to conduct the most extensive genetic studies ever undertaken with Oliver. At last, his true identity would be revealed. Yes. How did the uh, DNA concentrations come out? Were you able to get adequate DNA for your experiments? Yes. These three are the purified mitochondrial DNA. and the We did chromosome testing on Oliver to determine his species identity and whether or not he was a hybrid. The reason for this is because humans have 46 chromosomes. Chimpanzees normally have 48 chromosomes. And in fact, the chromosome testing results demonstrated Oliver had 48 chromosomes, the normal complement for a chimpanzee. Therefore, Oliver is a chimpanzee. Oliver is not a human-chimp hybrid after all. But could there be a genetic reason to explain his human-like behavior and appearance? Dr. Ely and his team delved deeper into Oliver's genetic makeup, and what they found surprised them. Uh, well, what we have here is the original uh, X-ray photograph of Oliver's mitochondrial DNA sequence and we've compared that to a, uh, a control chimpanzee and if we take a closer look at, at the sequence what we see overall is that Oliver is different from your common chimpanzee from West Africa so for example if we look at this part of the gel in the control chimpanzee there's kind of a step effect here 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 if we compare that to Oliver you can see that his DNA sequence looks completely different than the control chimpanzee the most in-depth genetic studies ever undertaken with Oliver have revealed that while still being a chimpanzee, he is different. It's clear he's a very rare type of chimpanzee who belongs to the furthest reaches of the Congo jungle. We know he's not a human chimp cross, but could he be a mutant chimp? Perhaps an example of a subspecies as yet unknown. He, he is a very peculiar chimp. I suspect he's a, a mutant chimpanzee of sorts. But there's certainly no evidence at this point, given the genetic data, that Oliver is a human chimpanzee cross, that Oliver is a humanzee. Come here. Come on, Oliver. While we're now certain that Oliver okay. is ape, not human, the question of what kind of ape he is remains. One theory is that Oliver could be a kind of living fossil. Here, up here, up here. Ten million years ago, more than 50 different species of ape roamed the planet. It really was a planet of the apes. Yet three million years later, most had disappeared to be replaced by human beings. What helped us make this giant leap from ape to human seems to be the ability to walk on two legs. This was the key event that set us on the path to becoming what we are today. So could Oliver be a relic from that period, an ancient link from the transitional era that saw ape become man? We might find that there is a unique race of chimpanzees somewhere in the wild that has been so far undiscovered. Or we might be able to find out why the behavior, the scent, rejection of other chimps makes Oliver different. Until we find another Oliver-like creature to compare him to, he'll continue to be a mystery. Today, Oliver's an old gentleman, seeing out his days in the Texan sun. His home, primarily primates, has been offering a refuge to all kinds of animals since 1978, but mainly apes. Because it's not run to make a profit, money is tight. Despite this, Wally is trying to raise enough money to build Oliver a new enclosure. 
at the moment because he's not able to fend for himself. What do you think about creating another area that would encompass this whole place over here, but not too high yes. where he could fall? Probably lots of different things we could do to keep it safe. We certainly want to be visible and be able to see the others. Wally believes Oliver is important. He may be a new subspecies, perhaps the only known example of his kind. I'm still totally convinced that there's a mystery about Oliver. He's different. He's a creature who's part of the unknown. Oliver's not a hybrid, but the knowledge to produce such a creature is already here. What's stopping the scientists is not so much technology, but morality. And traditionally, that doesn't tend to have a long shelf life. The lesson of history is that whatever can be done will be done somewhere, sometime, by someone. Oliver's life story has been fascinating, but the price he's had to pay has been high. Today, he's in a good facility with people who care about him, but it hasn't always been like this. This can be a very cruel world for something that's different. And when you're different from absolutely everything else that's known, it's going to be a very difficult life for you. And he's proof of that. A half-human, half-chimpanzee creature brought into the world by humans would be um, in, a, in a horrible state and uh, forever in misery and limbo. I'm uh, very relieved that Oliver is not part human. If such a creature is ever given life, then Oliver's turbulent existence will seem positively tame compared to what lies ahead for a real humanzy. And on the way later tonight on Five, surgery of the most extreme kind. But why do they do it? Find out in Drastic Plastic, coming up at 11 o'clock. <laughs>